वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल मैथ स्कूल ऑन दिस चैनल आई अपलोड ऑल द वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू क्लास टेंथ इन सर्ट मैथ इन टू डेज वीडियो लेट इज लर्न क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज फोर पॉइंट टू चैप्टर फोर सर्कल्स इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज आई हैव कम्प्लीटेड थियोरम फोर पॉइंट वन एंड फोर पॉइंट टू फ्रॉम द सेम चैप्टर एंड ऑल्सो द एक्सरसाइज फोर पॉइंट वन इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच दट वीडियोज डू फाइंड द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो ऑल्सो आई हैव कम्प्लीटेड ऑल द अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट चैप्टर वीडियोज सच एज एथमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन ट्राइंगल स्पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन इंट्रोडक्शन टू ट्रिग्नोमेट्री सम एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्री रियल नंबर्स एंड चैप्टर सर्कल्स अगेन लिंक फॉर ऑल दिस इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक माई वीडियो एंड डोंट फू गेट टू क्लिक दिस बेल बटन बिलो सो दैट यू विल बी नोटिफाइड विद ऑल द अपकमिंग वीडियोज ऑन माई चैनल सो ना क्विकली लेट इज बिगिन विद वीडियो Question number eleven from exercise four point two, chapter four, circle says prove that parallelogram circumscribing a circle is a rhombus. So similar type of question we have solved in question number eight, where we prove a circle circumscribed in a quadrilateral. But here we have to prove a parallelogram. A parallelogram is a four-sided figure whose opposite sides will be equal. So here let us assume a parallelogram. and name it as a b c d so this parallelogram circumscribing a circle with center o is a rhombus so we have to prove that this parallelogram is a rhombus when it is circumscribing a circle so properties of a parallelogram are opposite sides are parallel and equal whereas what are the properties of a rhombus in a rhombus all the four sides will be equal so here basically we have to prove that all the four sides of this parallelogram will be equal to form a rhombus okay so since they have given us proof that so for that we will write first of all what is given in the question then we will write what we have to prove and then we will write down the proof after drawing the figure now we will write what is given in the question so they have given us a circle with center o and a parallelogram abcd touching the circle at points p q r and s so at these points the circle is touching the parallelogram so let us write down that a circle with center o and a parallelogram abcd touching the circle at points p q r s now what we have to prove we have to prove that this parallelogram abcd forms a rhombus right so to prove abcd is a rhombus so in a rhombus all the four sides will be equal so here basically we have to prove all the sides are equal that is ab will be equal to bc equal to cd equal to ad so therefore ab will be equal to bc equal to cd equal to ad so this is what we have to prove so now let us write down the proof so how are we going to prove this here you can see that there are four external points formed to this circle that is point a point b point c and point d so using these four external points we can use to apply a theorem number 4.2 which says length of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal so here you can see from this external point there are two tangents drawn that is as and ap likewise to all the other external point that is from point b we have pb and bq as tangent from point c we have cq and rc as the tangent and from point d we have two tangents that is dc and dr so the length of tangents drawn from an external points to a circle are always equal so basically this tangent as will be equal to ap likewise all the other tangents will also be equal so using this theorem number 4.2 we will prove that this parallelogram forms a rhombus and we also know that since abcd is a parallelogram opposite sides of this parallelogram will be equal so ab is equal to dc that we know since this is, is a parallelogram so let us write down that first in parallelogram abcd ab opposite sides are equal so ab will be equal to cd and ad is equal to bc because since opposite sides in a parallelogram are equal since opposite sides in a parallelogram 
are equal. This is the reason. Right? So now we will use the theorem 4.2. So from theorem 4.2, we know that the length of tangent drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. So write down the whole statement. So using this theorem, we will apply here. So basically at point A, AP will be equal to AS. So therefore at point A, we have AP is equal to AS. At point B, we have BP equal to BQ. BP equal to BQ. At point C, we have CR equal to CQ. At point D, we have DR equal to DS. Okay. So let us take this as equation number 1, 2, 3 and 4. Let us add all these 4 equations which we have got. So by adding 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. So here it will be AP plus BP plus CR plus DR equal to AS plus BQ plus CQ plus DS. The left hand sides will be on the left hand side and right hand side part will be on the right hand side while you add all these four equations. So here you can see AP plus BP from the figure forms AB, right? So AP plus BP is AB plus CR plus DR will be CD equal to then AS plus DS. AS plus DS will form AD plus BQ plus CQ will form BC from the figure. Right. So this you can take it as equation number 3 and here let, the, let us take this as equation number 1 and equation number 2. From equation 1, you can see AB is equal to CD. So, this we are going to substitute in equation 3. Similarly, we have AD is equal to BC. Right? So, here we will substitute AD is equal to BC. Okay? So, here you can write down from equation 1, 2 and 3. Substituting AB. AB will keep it as, as it is. Plus, instead of CD, we will substitute it has equal to AB from equation 1. So AB equal to AD is equal to BC from equation 2. So that we are going to substitute AD as equal to BC plus BC. So AB plus AB will be 2AB equal to BC plus BC is 2BC. So 2 and 2 will get cancelled on both left hand side and right hand side. So we got AB as equal to BC. Let this be equation number 4. So AB is equal to BC we have obtained. So now again if you observe the equation 1, 2 and 4. From equation 1, 2 and 4 what we can write? See from equations 1, 2 and 4 we are going to take. So it's from equation 4 if you see we have AB is equal to BC. Right. In equation 2, if you see, we have BC is equal to AD. So, BC is equal to AD. And again, from equation 1, if you look, we have AB is equal to CD. So, again, AB is equal to CD. So, all the four sides will be equal. That is, AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to ED. So, this we have proved that this parallelogram ABCD forms a rhombus where all the four sides in a rhombus will be equal. So therefore you can write, so therefore ABCD is a parallelogram with all the four sides equal. Therefore ABCD is a rhombus. Right, so this we have proved. So this is how we prove this question number 11. If you have any further doubts, you can comment me in the comment section below. And also you can watch the related videos of chapter 4 circles shown on the screen. And if you like my video, do like and subscribe to my channel so that I can make more such videos for you guys. Thank you.